Good morning, everybody. We are back in the shop, and let me tell you what, that trip to Waco was amazing. If you saw my last video, uh, I tried to get as much as I can in it, but some of the booths were super packed. I tried to film as much as I can. Uh, I know Attack Line Leather, he's on YouTube as well. He has a really, really good video coming out as as well. And so yeah, go check him out as well. He has a good video to show, but it was absolutely awesome. I went down there. I got there Thursday night for the barbecue and all, talked to people, and it's insane the amount of information you learn just from talking to some of these people. I, I didn't go down there to buy a whole lot of stuff. I really went down just to go meet everybody and talk to them, and man, I am happy that I did because I, I walked out there and felt like a brand new leather worker from all the stuff that I learned. Uh, I didn't buy too, too much. Luckily enough for me, I kind of kept my wallet pretty tight down my pocket. So I did buy one of Dawn shirts, as you see I'm wearing now. Uh, I got the uh, floral design book from Bob Park. Uh, what else did I buy? I got, I got a new thumbprint from Barry King. I bought like a triple zero uh, horizontal thumbprint. And I custom ordered some bar grounders and some flower centers. So I didn't spend too, too much money. Although, man, I tell you what, if I had $10,000 to spend, I would have walked out of there with $10,000 worth of stuff. Just seeing everything, it's just, it's just amazing. All the tools, getting to use them and feel them. Uh, super, super cool. So that was a show, uh, it, like I said, Sheridan, Wyoming's coming up. Wichita Falls is coming up. Well, Wichita Falls is in October. Sheridan's in uh, May. So make it to one of them shows. If you haven't been to one, you need to go. I highly recommend it. Totally worth a drive or fly or whatever it is. So, so now that that pretty much got all wrapped up, uh, we're back in the shop. So, uh, I lo and behold, as soon as I walk up to my front door, I have like 15 pairs of hay dudes <laughs> sitting there ready to be tooled up. So I got them in last night. I was editing the video, got them all marked down in my books and ready to go. So you will see me working on a lot of hay dudes this week. Uh, other than that, not too, too much. Like I said, back to your shop, the everyday grind. Uh, I do have some belts and chaps coming up. You'll see them in some future vlog videos. It probably won't be like next week or the week after that. But plenty of cool stuff coming up. Uh, merchandise, like I said, there is merch. I do have it. It is not really in my website. So it's through Teesprings. So I will post I will post a link down in the, uh, the bio, I guess you can say, of this channel. Not the channel itself, but the video. Cause it's kind of whack. You gotta like copy and paste it from my website into like a search bar. So it's just easier to click on the link. But other than that, like I said, Waco show, the books are open, merchandise and yeah, uh, future videos. I'm trying to break it down and make some videos on just basic, basic leather crafting. I know a lot of people who are messaging me about it, just getting started into it. So I do want to make a quick video. Well, not really quick, but just a nice video on just starting out how to do leather work. Just basic, basic, basic tools. Uh, I might do one with for tooling side and one on just the craft side. We'll see, I'll figure it out, but I do have that up and coming. And then some more of just actual tooling, the beveling, thumb printing, uh, backgrounding, the whole nine yards. So I'll be working on those soon, but I gotta do that in between all my orders. And yeah, <laughs> so uh, that's about it for the talking side, I mean, you'll see me talk throughout this vlog video, but I'm gonna go ahead and start laying out some hey dudes and get to work. So, hope you all had a great time at Waco if you went. If not, I'll see you there next year. So, let's get started. Thank you. 
calls me day and night I'm sorry girl, you just don't make me feel right I never meant to make you cry, you were right Just leave me be, I'm not gonna put up a fight And every time you wake up feeling worse And then you check the time It's never what it feels like, just throw me a dime If everything was good, then you would feel alive Good then you would feel alive If everything was good then you would feel